Hi everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Eklavya Self Learning Tutorials. Well, it's been a long, long time that I have not been in touch with my YouTube channel. Well, there may be some reasons. So, well, today uh, there is a new add on for the Arc Workbench in FreeCAD that is uh, rebar add ons. So, it's been a development phase from some last two months and it's in the final phase. Actually, this was a this was a GSOC project, Google Summer of Code project of one of a student named Amrit Pal in my college. So he has been doing a plenty of good work there. So exactly today we'll be seeing, we'll basically reviewing the work done till now. Uh, as per me, uh, plenty of good work has been done and there are some of the improvements that I'll be showing today. So Amrit Pal can note down the things that may be essential. So a lot of impressive uh, comments are being done on the FreeCAD form regarding this add-on on the day vlogs. So you can just go through them also. It's been a good contribution by the whole FreeCAD family. Uh, Yorick, Regis, uh, some members I don't know by name but by the username. Chakri, uh, Engineer Bernard. Then we have uh, Thrash Kendra, I think. I don't know the name exactly. Uh, probably Thomas and one more guy. So, and one of our daughter HSRI, who was my guide in my MTech thesis. So, these are some people who are being involved in this thing, and a little part of me also. I have been in conversation with Amit Pal regarding this add-on. So I think it's been, it's his last month for this project. Uh, but we'll be continuing uh, for this add-on in our future time also. There's no such barrier. So today we'll have a look at this uh, beautiful add-on I should say. it's At least we can say we are competing and this add-on add is competing with the other uh, commercial software available in the market. I think it's a big thing to say that the software is compatible to compete so let's get started let me just make myself a little smaller so you can have focus on the so let's start so here we have the freaker screen you all are very familiar with this let's start with the new file so let's start quickly in the arc workbench i had a very long intro this time and apologize for that so so here we have all those icons and what we see the new thing here in the rebar add-ons we have early we have only rebar sketch but now along with this we have the straight rebar u-shaped rebar l-shaped rebar straight up bent shape and the circular stirrup so there's a quite impressive library we should we can say so how to start with this first let me just tell you make sure you are updated with the latest build of the FreeCAD and then what you can do is go to the tools section and the add-on manager in the workbenches section here you will have an add-on name reinforcement so you see we have installed here no matter if install on your also make sure you install and update this because Amit Pal is updating it I should say daily or once in two days so make sure you have all the latest builds uh, regarding this so I have just updated it uh, a few hours ago so you can close it so now what we can do is let's make a sample structure let's start by making a slab let the dimensions be around 3000, 2000 and the height be around 200. So let's place it here. So basically now I will be following the BIM curriculum also. We will be giving the role also to the structure from here in the data properties. Let's give it a role of slab. So now this is a slab, a structural slab. So now earlier what we used to do, we used to select the face then go to this rebar add-on and then we used to sketch the rebars but now you see we have a lot of advancement 
the power user so what now you we can do is we can just select this straight bar select the face in the add-on select the straight bar. so now you see we have a whole new pop-up of the add-on here and here you see the little three dots if you click you see a, a very beautiful sketch here you can see a very beautiful pictorial graph here which you, which will give you a basic idea that what you are going to draw so Amit Pal told me that it is contributed by Chakri so well thanks to him so now you can see all the uh, graphical picture like how the top cover left cover right cover coverings and how the spacing is done negative reinforcement uh, negative cover so you can skip this part so you can see here we have the first option is orientation if we see the horizontal rotation will be like this if we check the vertical so you see now we have a whole figure and some new types of inputs so now you are interested in giving the horizontal input now let's give the front cover let it be 20 right side cover uh, say 20 left also 20 and we want the cover along bottom side or top side that up to you so we want the cover along top bottom side actually we are dealing the rebars to be made along the bottom side then we have the bottom cover let it be 20 then we have the dia let it be 12 mm now there are two options how we want to distribute our rebars let it be amount uh, input or we can give the spacing uh, let's give the spacing of around 150 mm and now we can pick the selected face it will just show which face we have selected and now we can just click ok so now when we click ok you can see in this here you get the rebars so if you're not able to view the rebars you can hide the structure you can see the rebars uh, but we do here is we just make the transparency of the structure let be 85 so now here you can see you have got the rebars by just giving the inputs only so you see how much time is saved so similarly we can give the rebars for the transversal section by selecting this face now you will follow the same approach uh, straight rebars now let the orientation be horizontal front cover let it be uh, 60 because if you get the 20 cover so they will be like this we want the rebars to be like this so that they can be tied also when you just follow the construction scenario uh, when you just make the rebars you have to tie you have to make a cross otherwise it's like this you can't tie them uh, earlier i used to do this mistake but my guide told me that it is like this so here are some of the pretty cool things you get to know when you just deal with some senior person or you go to the site then you have the right side cover uh, that's also you can say uh, let it be 5 Similarly, left side 5 so we have to make the cross let the covering be along bottom side and now bottom cover so remember last time we gave the cover 20 so now we have to give it the cover 20 plus the dia of the previous bar the dia was 12 so you can give it like 20 plus 12 that will be around 32 okay let the dia be of 10 mm and let the spacing be of 100 we selected face now it's telling the name of the face click ok so you see we got the rebars distributed in such a fast and accurate manner so you see i was talking about this cross actually this one so you can tie the rebars easily here actually this is somewhat lagging here we just missed the crossing here uh, you can also now beautiful thing here you can see is you can also readjust the rebars like see you want to just <coughs> sorry you would like to just uh, uh, longitudinal rebar so what you can do is simply double click on them and now we are interested in giving the front cover let it be 60 click ok so you see those are adjusted on the view so these are pretty cool things so we are done with this straight bar so that's quite quite nice so you can click on others also and you can just do uh, now we have some pretty cool things like custom spacing 
uh, I'll be discussing in the case of the stirrups when we deal with the columns. So click cancel. Now let's make uh, a column. Let the length be of 200, width be of 300, the height be of 20, let it be 300 mm or 3 meters. Let us place this here. Oh, we got some error. Actually, the plane was just scattered. Let it be XY plane. So now let's place the column. Let's place it here. So you see, you have a column here. <clears throat> so let's make it transparency first only. Let it be 85. So now we have a transparent column here. So right now we are interested in making the, uh, first we would like to make, you see we have the options. In column basically, you can also deal with the L shape bar. We deal with the stirrup. We also deal with the circular that is in the circular column. Uh, then we deal with the straight bars mostly. So I will be telling here the straight bars like the vertical orientation. So let's select any face. Let, uh, let's select uh, this face. Make sure you select the longer face. So you can, you can say right now we don't have the functionality to make the rebars uh, in the manner of dots. So you can make only by the, the vertical or the horizontal section. So in that manner you can just select this face and then I have this straight rebar so now make sure you have the orientation vertical so you can see we can deal with the column so now let's make the front cover uh, 20 top side cover 20 only bottom side cover 20 now I want the covering along the right side or the left side <clears throat> so now this functionality is like we have the column you want your bars to be along the left side or you want them along to be the right side. So here we are interested in first of all in the left side. Now the cover that we want, uh, 20 is okay. Now dia, let it be 10mm. And now here in, uh, mostly in the beams and columns, what we are interested in is like we don't give the rebars according to the spacing generally in the sketch or the structure engineer. What it basically gives like three rebars of 10mm along this face done 2 mm along this and then two layers so that's basically the scenario later on you can just make the spacing on their drawings so here we deal with the amount uh, in slab you can say we deal with the bias spacing and column and beams uh, we generally have the scenario of the amount so let's here we have we want to give three rebars pick selected face that just format you can say to make sure and click ok so you see, we have three D bars here distributed. So that's pretty cool. And now we would like to give on the right side. Just select this face only. And same straight rebar. Vertical, front cover 20, okay. Top side cover 20, bottom cover 20. Cover along. Now I want along right side. And right side cover, let it be 20, okay. And the dia this time be 8 mm. So now the amount be 2. Now click OK. So you see, let's see the top view. So you see you have 3 V bars along the left side and 2 on the right side. So this is how you just make for the columns. This is approached by the amount. Now second thing is stirrups, the very important thing. So for stirrup basically we make along the top face or the bottom face or here right now we don't have orientation to give along the vertical face and distribution like this so we deal with the any of the top face let's select this face so now you have the stirrup option here so you see how beautiful it's given here you can just check uh, see the pictorial also like you see it's given for example of column and the beams how they are distributed how the bent angle is given like 135 and 90 degree how the coverings are supposed to be given how the face are to be selected how the rounding factors are to be given so that's a pretty uh, demonstration of how you can use this add-on so that's quite exactly 
the menu you can use so that's quite helpful uh, now let the left cover so i think one thing amrit pal can do here is amrit what you can do here is you can make sure uh, the pictorial here is also you have for the uh, column or beam like here you can see it's for the slab generally in slabs we don't have such setups so make sure you make uh, the pictorial modification for the you can just take from this only like here the beams and the slab you can use same picture there okay so now you can just have the left cover so now generally what you can see you have to do some calculations here so as a starting we can say it's okay that's nice uh, but you see for like a structure engineer that's uh, find it's quite tedious like again and again we have to calculate in our mind like the earlier cover was given this much the dia was this much now I have to adjust my stirrup okay getting my point so that will be quite you know tedious so it's okay quite good till now but those things can be added later so now if you remember the cover was for the rebus 20 and the dia was you can say um, 10 so now how will adjust here let the cover be 10 that's okay the right side cover let it be 10 or that's uh, there let it be 12 and the top cover 10 bottom cover 10 front cover front cover basically deals here along the face which we are dealing okay you can see the uh, diagram also front cover be around 40 and the bent angle we enter in 135 bent factor 4 round in 2 that will be okay that's standard values and the dia of the stereo that will be 6 and now we want in the factor of amount or spacing so you see here two things here basically spacing would be nice and let the spacing be around 150 uh, firstly you have to give the spacing then you can adjust the custom spacing I think this should be included here itself like the user can adjust the custom spacing in the uh, first time only so click ok that's nice not a big problem you can say so you see you have the beautifully arranged stirrups here and they're quite well managed you can say a very good accuracy is here you can see they're overlapping like this that's quite nice now next thing you can see i would like to show a very interesting here which most of the time we deal with that is a custom spacing you see the spacing is uniform here but in generally in this case of columns and beams we have the custom spacing like at the edges we have the spacing value less and the middle part of the beam and columns we have the spacing more that's all due to the shear factor we can say so let's adjust the sphere up so now we have option of the custom spacing so click on it now here also you have a beautiful pictorial here like the segment 1, segment 2, segment 3 or you can adjust these values so for the segment 1 we want to give the number of bars and the custom spacing so let the spacing let the bars be here around 5 and spacing we are interested in 100 is ok and the segment 2 we want to be 4 and the spacing be of 150 then next one let it be 5 and spacing 100 is okay one thing more Amrit can add here is or the other developers like there can be also option of the setting the dia in each of the segment that will be also a pretty cool thing so click ok so now you see you have the adjustments done here if you have the pre adjustment you can deal with that or there can be something more like on the back end of the free cat that can be developed like there should be option for the GUI by simply clicking and adjusting the rebars like snapping and I think the developers uh, will be more familiar with this so we can again again uh, adjust the custom spacing mm, let this so we have no given any sec uh, amount here let it be 5 let it be 6 let it be 6 okay so that's also pretty cool so you can make such adjustments by yourself or you have some pre-built shop drawings that will be quite accurate for you 
right now we don't have any idea of so we have made the strings or else he can also be a full fledged add on earlier to the slab case like all the inputs should be given by user once and the adjustment can be made it should be intelligent enough but it's quite nice for the free cat the levels of the adjustment <coughs> that the program made by amrit is pretty fine so now we have tested about the syrup state bars uh, then we have for the orientation now we have pretty other things like the u shape rebar l shape rebar so that i can show in the case of slab only so let's make a new slab so let's place it somewhere here give it roll of slab that's up to you how you want to just make your slab let's make it transparent also for our betterment to visualize the visualize the uh, rebars so now we would like to go for the u shape rebar so just simply select any face in which we are interested select the u shape rebar so now you see here also a pictorial graph how the u shape rebars are done so you can get a basic idea that's pretty much helpful and the negative cover value then the rebars will go outside of the parent member orientation bottom top you can see the diagram is being updated right so you can basically get a judgment that how your rebars are being made so right now we are interested in the bottom rebars front cover let it be 30 right side cover be 20 only left cover 20 bottom let it be 30 this time mm. let the front cover be 60 you want to make adjustment uh, top cover 20 of the edges then you have the rounding factor 2, two is ok dia let it be 6 in this time and spacing let the spacing be of 200 mm and click ok so you see so add on is quite <coughs> efficient and working fast you have the u shape rebars adjusted now another one we have <coughs> l shape so just click on this face we are interested in this face right now so click on this l shape rebar so here you also have the orientation bottom left bottom right so bottom right will be fine here also you can see the pictorial diagram that's a pretty cool thing i should say for a user so this time we'll try to take the edges of the rebars outside so let's see how let the front cover be uh, let it be 60 left side cover be around 20 is fine right side cover 20 so we'll like to take our rebars from right side well, we want to take it out so here we can give minus 200 so you'll see what will happen it will go outside the parent structure bottom covered would be like fine 40 top cover 20 is fine rounding twice okay let it die a bit 10 spacing we can give off 150 now click okay so you see the cool thing here is you can see the rebars are modeled outside this is helpful when you are modeling the combined structure like a slab is um, attached to a beam or a column so or another slab so they had to be some you see uh, structure their relation their combination so this is pretty helpful thing you see they are made like this now another one we have is an interesting rebar that is a bent up rebar so same thing will follow here let's select this face only bent up rebar so you see here you have the diagram also how these slabs are this is a very common type of rebar used in the slabs so orientation with top bottom so here Amritpal miss the pictorial for different orientation we'll do it later so front cover with 20 20 let it be okay 
So just want to see how this thing works. Top cover 20, anchorage length of the length of the bent up bar. Let it be 200. Uh, we want it left side to be outside. So let it be minus 250. Rounding is twice okay. Dia be 12. Spacing be of 100. Click OK. So now you see they are made. One edge of the rebar is made outside. And other is like OK here. So you see these are pretty fine things. And if you have good dimensions by your uh, structure engineer and a draftsman can make very precise diagrams or the models from here and I get the shop drawings very easily by cutting the sections. So these are quite cool things. It's fun working with FreeCAD and in such head-ons. Uh, quite good. Good work with. So next we have the last one that is the circular stirrup. So let's make a circular column. So for that what we can do here is either you can just make from this uh, circle from a DOS menu. That's also okay. But I preferably use a sketcher. I have some old story like a sketcher workbench more like you can set the constraints other things you have more freedom to the user so let's make a circular profile here oh sorry let's give the dia to this circular profile from this constraint if you want to have overview of all this constraint and mechanism of the different workbenches you can just follow my previous tutorials where I have given all the introduction about these things you must be familiar so now radius let it be 150 is okay but cool so now click on this sketch go to the arc workbench and make the structure so now you see the structure is made from that particular profile let the transparency be of 85 it's column fine, roll is fine. Height be round, pretty want some more height. 300,000 is okay. Now let's see our circular stirrup. Okay. Click on this face, top face. Click on the circular stirrup. Now we have some values. I think more development has to be made by Amit, some picture and etc. So side cover 30. Top cover 60, bottom cover be around 40. Pitch, pitch is basically how much distance you have between the coils. Okay, so distance between the coils. Let it be 150. Dia 10 is okay. Click OK. So it's saying some error is being made here. I think he hasn't made the extension to the sketcher so let me just make the structure from the drafts menu I think that's a issue here so let's make from the draft here uh, let us give the radius it's quite huge Yes, you can just like this circle profile and click the structure. Let's give the height to the structure of 3 meters. Now just like this face. Values are quite fine as per me. Okay. So the rebar is made this time. So Amrit, you can just make this point note down that for the support of the sketcher work when it's not here right now. That's not a big issue. And I don't know what type of bug is this. Earlier also two members posted in the group. I also posted. I think this is somewhat an uh, error with the Windows workstation. Um, because we're working on the o Ubuntu. And things are going fine on the Linux. So here is uh, this. You can see the problem within the profile of the rebar. You can see this distortions. So I think it will be solved soon. Otherwise, things are working quite fine. Let's see if you can see make the straight rebars here. I don't think so. It has a support.
I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't make that. So you can just try the sketching options. And one thing more, still you have the functionality to sketch your uh, rebars from this option. Doesn't mean that earlier functionality is uh, lost here. Like nothing like that. Like you can see, select this face. And if you want to just sketch your profile, simply click on this flat face. Now what you can do is, you can just make a new sketch from here. Like this. So there is a quite good freedom given to the user here. You can also give the constraints, but we're not much interested right now. We just want to give the overview. So you see, you have a beautiful rebar here with a bent up also. So what you can do is you can give the rounding value also here. Just simply select this rebar in the tree view. Uh, amount be 2, 2 amount, then you can give dia also here. You see, thickness is increased. So, you want to give rounding here. So, here we have an option. You have the covers option also offset, end, and start. You have the row, the rounding, the rounding be 2. So, you see, we got pretty good things here. So, sometimes you may not find some of the types of rebar shapes in the library. So that time you can use this type of sketching functionality that becomes quite helpful to the user. And one more thing you can do here is you can give the random colors. So let's try that in the case of our slab first. Random color. I think they are not. Yeah, they are changed. Let's change again. So like this you can give random colors to your rebars to avoid the confusion like which rebar you are working on. So here also we get different colors. So it automatically adjusts the uh, con contrast. That's also quite good thing by the free cat. Now I'll deal with this. Here also you can just change the colors. That's quite cool thing. And similarly for this one. I have made this point to the Amrits. He will just make the changes. Otherwise, things are quite cool here. Things are working fine. Good uh, improvements are being made. And I'm trying my best to make some more tutorials. I'll be now active more. I'll try to be active more. I can't promise. I'm starting some other things. So I'll try more. So right now, I'm pretty much amazed by the work done by Amrit, a good GSOC project and a good contribution to the free cat. So many active members are also there who are working continuously and guiding Amrit. And I'm also available uh, available for the Amrit anytime. Uh, good things are going on here. So that's pretty fine, cool things. Uh, well, that's all, user. If you have any questions, you can ask me. You can also continue on the free cat form. I'll also share the link where all the discussion regarding this add-on is going on. So till now, that's all till now. Well, see you soon in the next tutorial. Well, till then, goodbye. Take care. This was Nirvi Chauhan uh, from the Eclovia self-learning tutorials. Thank you.